We're talking with Kristen Zimmer, author of the incredibly popular The Gravity Between Us, who has a new book that came out very recently called Forbidden Girl. Welcome, Kristen. Hello, you two. How are you? Great. Good. Thank you. Yeah. It's a brand new book. When did it come out? Like Jen. Gen- like Gen- literally July, a like- week. Yeah. A week and a half ago. What? July 2nd. Yeah. July 2nd. That's what I thought. I'm going to go get a copy and have you sign it. I have are there one. Any left? No, there aren't any here. I'm Stop. because I'm I'm a jerk and I didn't bring any. But I brought I have some in my room. So I'm, I didn't well, bring I any to one. sell, but okay. yes, you I want one. You I called one. dibs like I did. weeks ago. So you got it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case you forgot. No, I didn't. Okay, sweet. Thank I got you. you. Thank you. <laughs> so, can you tell the people listening what is Forbidden Girl all about? Okay. So, I kind of took inspiration from Romeo and Juliet and I made it gay and I set it in modern day Boston and there are two Irish mob families mm. so it's uh it's pretty fun it's it's, <laughs> it's a lot sexier than anything I've written before um and I feel like it's just kind of like I've kind of blossomed into my grown-up mm. self mm-hmm. as a writer so. mm-hmm. Well, yeah, because a lot of people came to discover you, well, and frankly themselves, by (laughs) reading The Gravity Between Us. So what do you see, and I know you have a book kind of in between, but like, what have you learned kind of in this, you have this trajectory as an author now, like, I, I, it's just the way you just said about that grown up thing, that there was something there, like, what do you feel is different? And what can people expect to see that's different? Gravity was the book that I wrote, because we needed representation. And we needed it in a mainstream kind of setting, which is why I went with a mainstream publisher. And since I wrote that in 2013, obviously sapphic fiction is, it's taken on a whole new scale. It's huge. And I don't have to write for representation anymore. I could just write whatever I want. (laughs) So it's, um, it was great to be kind of a voice because I felt like I had to be Mm -hmm. but now it's like I get to be the voice that I want to be right so it's really I think it's fun now it's for fun yeah (laughs) because especially at that point like YA sapphic fiction was non-existent yeah it's actually like um new adult was a brand brand spanking new in 2013 like there wasn't even any shelf space for it people are still debating whether or not new adult could exist that 18 to 25 Mm -hmm. yeah so I wrote it I had I had a bit of a hard time selling it but then somebody bought it and they're like yeah there's this genre that's growing now and Mm -hmm. we're gonna do it and I was like that's awesome cool you know it was cute because I think it was in Denver when I showed you that I purchased it back in 2013 when it came out like I I have a I'm like look I bought your book yeah Yeah, I'm so excited I got really emo about it and it meant a lot for me too. I mean, <laughs> that's what got me started in writing. I mean, okay, I maybe did a bit of a dick move early <laughs> because out of nowhere, and like if this isn't the most ADHD thing I could have done, I was like, okay, I'm gonna like wrap a topic shift. How does it feel knowing that you wrote a uh, the coming out book for like a whole generation? Right. <laughs> Just like no warning. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. no warning, and then she got me this close to tears. Like literally, I'm not, I'm no BS. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> literally, I was, I sat there, I'm standing there, and I feel myself getting red, and I'm shaking, uh-huh. and I'm like, oh my god, what? Cause yeah, and if you start like anytime you start crying, I'll start crying. I'm not gonna, who's crying in the room. I'm crying. I'm a uh, cancer. Yeah. I'm gonna cry. Okay, I'm gonna cry. The problem is, I've been interviewing <laughs> authors for so long, asking questions like this, but like usually. I share like a rough idea of how the conversation is going to go right. versus literally just having a conversation with somebody. It's like, hey, I'm going to basically interview you right now and yeah, no you, you and get into it. And you're you, like, fuck. You punched me in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So worth it, though. It was Sorry. like, what a, way to, tissue. what a way to start my conference. <laughs> Holy crap. Shirt, <laughs> I need a shirt. Oh, a shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is good crying, though. This is laughing this crying. Is, yeah, so there this, you go. There yeah. you go. this is a good cry. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, I do, I do think it's true. There are certain books within sapphic fiction that are the coming out books for like kind of a group of women. Right. And, you know, you can go all the way back to Radcliffe Hall. Oh, yeah. For mm-hmm. sure. But even then there's like Anne Bannon was the one who helped Catherine V. Forrest yeah. find herself. Oh, and yeah, Catherine yeah, yeah. V. Forrest was the one who helped Georgia Beers find herself. And Georgia Beers There's helped always, a bunch yeah. of other people. And yeah, you 
did it too. Now I don't know if any of them are writing it. Maybe, maybe I'm they're sure. writing fanfic, but like, that's a thing and it's a big deal. And well, for sure, it got me started. Yeah, I mean, there's a, you know, I read a handful of books and I was like, you know what? Okay, I can do this. Hell yeah, you can do it. Can do that's it. the was, point. Was her Hell book yeah. one of the ones that did that for you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so right here. So all right, Kristen Zimmer, how does it feel knowing that not only did you write this? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being an asshole. No, you're not being an asshole oh, about it. Funny. It's honestly. Not the first time I've heard it, um, but every time I hear it, it's very special. Yeah, good. Because um, I, I didn't set out to change the world, but I s- you did changed yeah. some people's worlds, which is yeah. pretty fucking amazing. I know. <laughs> you know? So, oh, I'm sorry. You guys are assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I do get it, but like, I haven't been almost crying, but like, I had a couple people stop me today and say, I found your reviews when I was starting to read Savage yeah. Fiction, and you yeah. helped me right. find the books that I needed to read, and I was like, oh my god. You wrote one of the earliest reviews of Gravity. It was really, really early. You yeah. and, yeah, um, and I had my first ever interview with T.B. Markins, Mark Mark yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so I heard Savage, and it's like, I... Those those moments yeah. in the beginning that that helped launch you that helped kind of bolster you as as a person as a writer defeat that imposter syndrome you yes, never forget that it's yeah. huge yeah. so thank you oh wow mm. okay wow cry <laughs> <Well. laughs> <laughs> too bad you just made me laugh yeah. too much perfect, <laughs> perfect. it's perfect. not gonna happen that's the goal so. that's the goal <laughs> Mm-hmm. So this is your second GCLS. You yes, came last year for the first time. Mm-hmm. What are you noticing now? You know, you've 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 had the first day of school jitters last year, or I don't know if you had that. That's just how I feel about it a little oh, bit. Yeah. This is my first year, but now mm-hmm. you're here for your second year. What are you loving? What are you looking forward to? Drinking? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. No, like I I I don't. You're gonna see the thing. It's like I'm a, I'm. A, only a social drinker mm-hmm. so oh, yeah, and it's like i just um more for being here for like the community aspect and getting to know people and just yeah. being able to like tell the people that i admire that i admire them and get to have conversations yeah. like that for me is yeah. the most exciting thing because being a writer in my experience anyways i'm very much an island that's how i mm-hmm. need to to process like i don't talk about my work i don't want to discuss it when i'm writing i just i can't do it yeah. But after the fact, I'm like, yeah, let's tete a tete. Let's get really fucking wasted and just be funny <laughs> and like have a good time and get to know each other, you know? So yeah. that's, um, I don't, yeah. of course, obviously, it's like, I, you never stop learning. Yeah. So it's a yeah. learning experience. Every time I go into a panel and listen to authors speak about their experience, mm-hmm. it's like, oh shit, I never thought about that. Right. Maybe I can adapt my style or my process to, the great things that they're suggesting you know so i love it that's amazing all right everybody go and pick up forbidden girl and the gravity between us and the other one that i've already forgotten the name of i'm so sorry (laughs) that's my favorite one too when sparks fly that's my favorite book yeah go get them yeah please thank you (laughs) thank you for making me cry oh (laughs) any time it's really a pleasure (laughs) (laughs) that was good